Okay. Careful of these stairs. He says before falling into the water. Luckily, there's a ladder. The only reason you use those stairs is to get gold, and that's about it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's if they get back up to the surface. Ooh, a bit of colorful language from Helga there. <laughs> oh, name calling is unacceptable. Especially after being called a goat fucker. So we gotta hold out until this door opens. the door to the bottleneck. Come on, hurry up. Almost there. Not get over that. Ah. Okay. So, if you notice all this ammo and everything here. We are at the final bit of the game here. What's this? Note from SS Archaeologist Randolph, March 17th. My god, I can't believe what i just seen. We cleared the way into the inner vault. One of the men died in the explosion. While the others took care of the body, I couldn't resist opening the gate into the vault, despite what Helga said. I put a cloth over my mouth because of the strange green colored gas, but it got into my nose and I felt a burning sensation. After entering the vault, I was struck by an over overwhelming sense of awe. Such a impressive feat to build such a vast chamber this deep into the mountain. There seems to be no end to it. There must be treasures hidden here, Magnific magnificent treasures of real historical value. Also, I have observed the unidentifiable gas released from the cracks in the ground caused by the earthquake. And... In front of the entrance, there is a mechanism of sorts, symbols on it. The same as on the map we retrieved from Helga's patient. Maybe it controls the... aperture at the bottom of the pit? Helga has the map, so I cannot test this hypothesis yet. Something seems to be locked away down here, underneath the earth. Hoping Helga will be here soon so we can study this further. Randolph. More zombies? Okay. We don't need that. Okay. 
Let's do this. The hell? How do we not see that? Friends. Ah, crap. Well, at least she's not speaking English. Ow. Ah, oh, crap, she's now speaking English. What have we here? Well, there's your D&D maps. Oh, Fortuna, so strange and unpredictable. I could just... I feel like I'm a child again, digging for the treasures in the woods. This moment will put me in the history books amongst the greatest of adventurers. You'll always be just another Nazi. Yeah. Sehen Sie, Schreiner. Ja, aber es ändert nichts. Bisher konnten Sie weder mich noch General Strasse beeindrucken, Helga. Meine Güte, Schreiner, Sie sind ein solcher Korrentenkacker hier, sehen Sie. Well, at least she's not calling him a goat fucker. Entspricht genau den Symbolen hier auf diesem Podest. Das ist die Kombination, Sie Idiot! Well, okay, prove it then. Wait, all she did was push one button. Ow. What the... Hell, mother of God. What the hell is this grotesquery? It looks like a flesh golem. Ah, uh, well, luckily she didn't say Australian flesh. These two are dead. Yep. Hmm. Well, she might be alive. But he's definitely dead. Well, crap, now he has a taste for human flesh. Now, the best thing about this is, he will not attack until you start shooting at him. So you can grab all the ammo and everything you need. But the best thing to do here is pull this out. Pull this out. And get that. Get this. And these. And perch yourself over here. And basically, shoot him in the mouth whenever you can, because that's this gun will deal the most damage to it. Now, whether or not it has to be open or not, as long as you shoot him in the green bit, you should be fine. And the worst part is, he goes for sound. And not only that, Nazis and all that will stop pouring in too. And the best part is when normal Nazis start rolling in and start shooting at it, they will he will basically start killing them. Whoop. Okay, so we've... So, 
he starts clutching his head like that, you've done enough damage to him to initiate the next phase. Ow. The best part is, if this thing kills the normal Nazis, then usually they won't come back as zombies. Okay, that's the second time he's holding his head. And as you notice, there's more green veins on his face. I'm going to toss this over here, so... This guy's just going to town, it's really hard to get some shots here. Come on, over here. Thank God we're crouching too. Ooh. That is a good dodge. I love how we do just dodge here. Well, he's dead. Come on. Should be almost dead by now, so... Three... Actually... Oh, what the hell? Throw that over there, so he's actually going to try and do something. Oh, duck! Down! Out. 
There we go. Oh, look. He's still alive. Yep. There we go. You don't understand. You never were in control. Nope, she was not. I never asked for this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fergus! I fits fucking everywhere. There he is. How you doing, Max? Nice. Come on. Give me a hand, you lazy bastard! <laughs> yeah. Fergus, you probably need to take Blasco to get his head checked by the doctor. The he had like Blasco three How'd you find me? hits to the head by now. We got a distress call from Pippa. We found their body. They yeah. Wesley too, Fergus. Bloody hell. See? Annette found her... Come on, miss. We have to get you found, out. His, found her lady friend. Yeah, listen, Blasco. We can't change what happened. You did a hell of a job finding that folder. Which means we've got the location of Death's Head's compound. Okay, sweet. We bloody got it. Finally. Can you believe it? Yeah. There's this dream. Something important. It's gone when I wake up. No time for dreams, I guess. Ah, damn it! Forgot to take a piss before we left. Why didn't you remind me, Blasco? I look like your babysitter, Fergus. Yeah, why Fuck should it. we remind you? Why don't you take the piss off the side Almost of the truck? There. You sure killed that big fucking monster proper, BJ. The biggest one is still out there. Yeah. This may be our last chance to topple the Nazi Empire. Hmm. Now it's time to get it done, eh? And the world is counting on us and all that. No pressure. <laughs> Except my goddamn bladder. Monster never dies, no matter how many times you kill it. Just sheds its skin and changes form. I feel the weight of the world pushing me down. I try to carry it nonetheless. One last time. And I can rest. Well, you can rest on the flight over to Death Shed's compound, Blasco. Hello, my fellow viewers. My name is Ren the Multiviewer, and if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment or some feedback down below, as every little bit helps the channel. And as always, have a good one, my viewers.